This is Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate, the podcast where we cover home buying, home selling, home improvement tips and ideas, market trends and developments, and investing in real estate. If you own real estate in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, or want to own real estate here, then you're in the right place. Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate is hosted by Blake Watson, a real estate agent and investor in Tennessee and Georgia, brokered by EXP Realty, LLC. And welcome to Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate. I'm Blake Watson, an agent with EXP Realty, and I'm glad you're here for the podcast today. Today, I am answering some common questions that people ask about Chattanooga real estate. And we're going to review the annual report of the Greater Chattanooga housing market as just released by the Greater Chattanooga Realtors. Now, I am a member of the Greater Chattanooga Realtors, so if you would like more information or some neighborhood data, then please contact me. You can call or text me at 423 315 1815, and I'll give you more contact info at the end of the podcast. Now, here are some questions I'm going to answer today. Is Chattanooga a good place to buy real estate? Great question. How is the real estate market? What is the average price of a house in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Are home prices dropping in Chattanooga? These are all questions I get on a regular basis. So let's start with the first question. Is Chattanooga a good place to buy real estate? I can answer that with an unequivocal yes. Here's what you have to consider if you're wondering if Chattanooga is a good place to buy real estate. Well, Chattanooga has lower housing costs when you compare our city with much of America. Chattanooga's median home sale price is 20% lower than the national average. And the overall cost of living is 8% lower than the national average. These are great reasons to look at Chattanooga for your real estate purchase. Now, we have jobs. The unemployment rate in Chattanooga remains near an all-time low, and it's slightly lower than the national average, where we also have very low unemployment. We have life here in Chattanooga. Absolutely. Great restaurants, entertainment, mountains, rivers, hiking, biking, hang gliding, rock climbing, Our city is vibrant and it is full of life. People want to live here. We have internet. Yes, we do. Thank you, EPB, for leading the way and making us gig city as we began as America's first city to have gig speed internet. And that has rippled out across the country and even across the world as people have learned that Chattanooga has great internet service. We have high speed internet. Certainly much more than one gig now, but it's high speed available throughout Hamilton County and in the region around us. There's great internet service in Chattanooga, and it's well known that we have that. We have water in Chattanooga. Yes, we do. And what a blessing that is. The Tennessee River coming right through town. Surprisingly, I know we we take it for granted. I mean, I grew up here in Chattanooga. I take it for granted that we have water. I'm going to turn on the water. It's not expensive. It comes out of the faucet. I'm not worried about washing the car or watering the grass. I can do all those things. It is rare that we have drought problems that actually impact our water supply. We have abundant water in Chattanooga. Now, just to our south in Georgia and even in Alabama to some degree, there are water supply issues. You go further into Georgia, you get to Atlanta, there is a serious water supply problem because there's just not enough water flowing into the city of Atlanta and there's plenty of people who want to use it. But we don't have that problem here. We have a lot of water flowing into Chattanooga and we can freely use it. If you are in California, you are on water restrictions, and water is expensive, and it has to be very carefully utilized. Certainly, we want to be good stewards of our water supply and our natural resources, but it really is comforting to know that we're not going to run out of water anytime soon. We don't have many natural disasters. I know we have recently, in the past 15 years, started having tornadoes in the Chattanooga area like we've never seen before, or at least in a long time. However, it is still not common 
for us to have tornadoes, and it's not common for us to have natural disasters of, of major flooding or of wildfires or hurricanes. A hurricane comes through, we're pretty well protected. We can still insure our homes. We can get home insurance here in Chattanooga. And that's not easily done in coastal areas and in Florida, in California. There are problems to even be able to insure your home. We have no state income tax in the great state of Tennessee, and that is a great draw from other parts of the country. Because we have no state income tax, our money goes further. What money is earned stays in your pocket more in Tennessee than it does in California, New York, these other states where people are migrating to states like Tennessee where there's no state income tax. And the governor of Georgia recently announced income tax reductions beginning this year, 2024, in Georgia. So taxes are even coming down in Georgia. So there are some great reasons that Chattanooga is a good place to buy real estate because there are jobs. We have no income tax in Tennessee. People want to live here in Chattanooga. Next question, how is the real estate market? Well, it's quite good and has been quite steady. It's remarkable how Chattanooga has been very resilient over the years with very steady real estate values and very steady growth in real estate. If you look back at the Great Recession, which really was from 2007 when it really started in real estate here in Chattanooga through 2010, 11, 2012, the Great Recession impacted the rest of the United States and the rest of the world tremendously. It it impacted us (laughs) tremendously here in Chattanooga as well. However, that's also when we had the announcement that the Volkswagen plant was coming to Chattanooga. The Volkswagen plant was bringing all kinds of jobs and ancillary jobs and opportunities to our region. We weathered the Great Recession remarkably well compared to much of the country and much of the world. Yes, there were some lower property values, and yes, there were certainly hard times for a lot of us here in Chattanooga and in this area, but it was not as hard as in some other areas. I'm thankful for that, and the same thing is happening now. This higher interest rate environment we've had in the second half of 2022 and through 2023 has definitely impacted other markets much more significantly than Chattanooga. We've still been steady. We've still had a reasonable growth in value for real estate. So the market has been good. So the next question, what is the average price of a house in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Let's go ahead and get into this annual report on the Greater Chattanooga Housing Market. Now, this is published by the Greater Chattanooga Realtors. Again, I'm a member of the Greater Chattanooga Realtors. So if you would like some more detail or would like to get a neighborhood look or even a zip code look, I can prepare a report for you. I'd be happy to do that. And you just need to contact me directly to set that up. So the annual report on the Greater Chattanooga Housing Market is five counties in Tennessee, Hamilton County, and Sequatchie County. In Georgia, it's covering Dade County, Walker County, and Catoosa County. Those five counties make up the greater Chattanooga area for the greater Chattanooga Realtors. So let's look at the annual market activity. For 2023, there were 12,935 homes listed. There were new listings. The year before that, it was 14,436 homes. That was in 2022. So there are fewer homes listed in 2023 than the previous year or really any of the previous years of the past five years, all the way back to 2019. Now, closed sales, this is going to be more of a a barometer of what the activity is. The number of sales gives you a better picture of what the health of the market is. So in 2023, there were 10,183 homes closed, sales completed. Let's go back to that base year of 2019. There were 10,781 homes sold in 2019. Now, that's not that big of a difference from 2019 to 2023. In fact, the 2023 number of closed sales is 94% of what we had closed sales in 2019. 
Now, in between, in those years 20, 21, 22, there were definitely more homes sold. There was a higher activity. We all know that. The whole country was was having much more sales volume. So here's how it went year to year. 2019, there were 10,781 homes sold. 2020, there were 11,737 homes sold. 2021, 12,961 homes sold. In 2022, 11,618 homes sold. And then in 2023, 10,163 homes sold. Again, you compare 2023 back to that year 2019, pre-pandemic, and it's not a huge difference. Okay, let's look at the average sales price. This is the average price of a property sold in or in the Chattanooga area. In 2023, the average sales price was $367,491. That's the average sales price. Now, I prefer to use the median sales price, and that's what we'll look at next because that's a better barometer. The average sales price is going to include those multi-million dollar properties. There are some really high-end properties that are sold in the millions that are going to throw off that average a bit. So let's look at the median sales price. The median means half of the properties that sold in 2023 were above this price and half of the properties sold in 2023 were below this price. The median sales price was $315,000 in 2023. Let's look back to pre-pandemic. The median sales price in 2019 was $203,000. Now, Post-pandemic, here we are, 2023, the median sales price is $315,000. That answers some questions right there. How is the real estate market? It's obviously going up. The prices are still going up. Are home prices dropping in Chattanooga? Well, you tell me. It sounds to me like they continue to go up. In 2022, it was the median sales price was $304,713. And in 2023, the median sales price is $315,000. That's slightly more than $10,000 more year to year. That's a 3.4% increase from 2022 to 2023. Let's look at the value increase on an annualized basis. Let's go back eight years. So the median sales price in 2015 was $152,000. In 2023, it's $315,000. So from 152 to 315, that's more than double. That's an annual rate of increase over those eight years of 9.5%. Now let's take it back further because we know that that really includes, it still includes the pandemic years. Let's go back to 2010. That's the earliest data that we have from the Greater Chattanooga Realtors. In 2010, the median sales price in Chattanooga was $128,000. Again, in 2023, it's $315,000. So over those 13 years, that's a 7.15% annual rate of increase. Okay, now let's exclude the pandemic. And just look at where housing prices went from 2010 to 2019. Over those nine years, from 2010, the price was $128,000 to 2019, the median sales price was $203,000. So over those nine years, there's a 5.25% rate of increase annualized. Nine years, 2010 to 2019, exclude the pandemic and the run-up in values that occurred after that, and you still have a 5.25% rate of increase annualized. So if you look at that and you're asking yourself, is it a good time to buy a house? Is it a good time to buy a home? Is it a good time to buy a condo, um, a townhome? Well, you tell me. That's what was happening before the pandemic. And I think it's fair to expect that we'll go back to something more like pre-pandemic rates of increase, maybe less. Maybe because we had such a run-up in the pandemic, maybe it's less. And so instead of 5.25% increase in values, you have an annualized return of 4% or 4.5%, whatever it may be. It's still going to increase regularly year after year. So there you go. Is it a good time to buy real estate in Chattanooga? It would seem so to me. 
Now let's look at some trends of where people are coming from to move to Chattanooga. There's more people moving into Chattanooga and into this area than there are moving away. So we have a migration pattern that is coming into Chattanooga. Here are the top 10 cities that people are moving from to come to Chattanooga. Number one, Atlanta, Georgia. Number two, Los Angeles, California. Number three, Chicago, Illinois. Miami, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Seattle, Washington. New York, New York. Washington, D.C. San Diego, California. And San Francisco, California. So that is the top 10 of where people are coming from to come to Chattanooga. Now, where are people that are leaving Chattanooga going? Well, they're not going very far. Scottsboro, Alabama, Pensacola, Florida, Macon, Georgia, Asheville, North Carolina, Mobile, Alabama, Panama City, Florida, Gadsden, Alabama, Greenville, South Carolina, Columbus, Georgia, and Gulfport, Mississippi. So most of the people that are leaving Chattanooga are still staying in the South. Now, back to this annual report. Let's look at a little bit more on the statistics. Days on market until sale. If you are ready to sell your house, how long would you expect on average to have your home on the market? Well, in 2019, before the pandemic, you would have expected to have your home on the market on average 48 days. That's how long the average days on market was until sale in 2019, 48 days. Then the lowest it ever got just after the pandemic was in 2022, it got down to 20 days on market on average. It is at 34 days on market. So just over a month is the average days on market from 2023, from this past year. Houses are not sitting on the market. Month supply of inventory is 2.4 months supply. That makes it still a seller's market. It's not really considered a balanced market until we get to four to six months of inventory. It is still a seller's market until we get to four months of inventory. And then it starts being balanced and it remains balanced from four to six months of inventory. So if you're ready to sell your home, if you've ever thought about selling your home, it's a great time to do it right now because the economics of supply and demand are going to dictate that you're going to do well selling your home with a short supply of inventory. Now, as we talk about in real estate, location, location, location matters, right? So all the neighborhoods in Chattanooga are going to be different. Some neighborhoods have more demand. Some neighborhoods do have less demand. The information I gave you is really from the five counties that make up the greater Chattanooga realtors. And in Chattanooga alone, within the city limits, there are at least 20 neighborhoods to be considered, like Brainerd, North Chattanooga, downtown Chattanooga, Hickory Valley, Hamilton Place area, East Chattanooga, Lepton City, Norcross, Murray Hills, all of these neighborhoods in the Chattanooga area. There's 20 of them. And that's not even including other communities and cities like East Ridge and Collegedale and Soddy Daisy and, and Red Bank. And then, of course, there are cities and communities in the North Georgia counties as well. So we have a lot of nuance by neighborhood, by zip code. So different zip codes, different neighborhoods are going to have different statistics for them. And something I've been doing for my clients lately is preparing a localized neighborhood market report that they receive every month in their email. And I'll be glad to do that for you. It can be set up by zip code. Instead of a Chattanooga-wide market report, I'll send you a zip code report for the zip code that you're most interested in. And then you'll have a much more granular data set to review and you'll receive that every month automatically from me and I'll be glad to set you up with that. If you just contact me, you can direct message me or you can email me and let me give you my contact information. I'm Blake Watson, real estate agent with eXp Realty LLC. You can call me on my mobile phone. It's 423-315-1815 and my brokerage office phone is 888-519-5113 extension 1241. You can find me on Facebook and on LinkedIn. I'm Blake Watson on both of those platforms and on Instagram, I'm Rock and Roll Blake. You're welcome to DM me there. My website is realestatebyblake.com. You can email me at 
blake at realestatebyblake.com. These are ways you can start getting a localized report specific to your zip code or your community, your town, and you'll know monthly how the market is moving, how many properties are for sale, what the average prices are, what the high highest sales price is, what the low price is, these sorts of things you'll get on the report. It's a great report and I'm glad to send it to you. So thanks for listening today to Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate. Please subscribe to the show and listen next week for more great Chattanooga real estate information.